Medrese is a Turkish word for a place of learning or studying, and they're usually found attached to mosques. And while these traditional buildings are no longer used as schools, they definitely aren't lying idle, as Miranda Atti has been discovering. In the middle of the 19th century, there were around 166 active madrasas in Istanbul. They were usually charitable foundations and often taught Islamic studies, as well as subjects like medicine and philosophy. But after the new Turkish Republic came to power in 1924, a law was passed shutting down these Ottoman madrasas. Now I'm going on a journey through Istanbul to find out what's become of the traditional buildings. First stop, Rustam Pasha Madrasa in Fati. Built by architect Mimar Sinan in the 16th century, it's part of a lavish mosque complex designed in remembrance of the Grand Vizier Rustam Pasha. The building's square from the outside, with an octagonal interior. It was the only time Sinan ever built a madrasa in this shape. Uh, we are doing here kind of uh, cultural and scholarly and social activities uh, for the students and for the professionals and lay people. Uh, and also, uh, you know, we should preserve uh, the structure and the building, physical building, but at the same time we should preserve the spirituality of this madrasa. Rustam Pasha Madrasa is also home to a museum. It's about the work of theologian Syed Nursi, whose teachings were instrumental in the revival of Islam in Turkey in the 20th century. Syed Nursi is a very famous uh, and influential uh, Muslim scholar of this modern age. And uh, he says uh, we have three enemies. These are ignorance, poverty and conflict. And we should fight against these three enemies with the weapons of education and unity and industry. It's really peaceful right now. But during the evenings in Ramadan, Rustam Pasha Madrasa hosts iftar. Students, teachers and members of the public are all invited, which means there can be as many as 250 people here breaking their fast. Essentially, this madrasa is still being used as an education centre. But I have heard about another of Miman Sinan's buildings that's being used in a different way. Uh, this place's history uh, is belong to mid, uh, mid of the 15th, uh, 16th century, uh, 1550s. As you know, uh, the building, this building uh, was built by Mimar Sinan. Actually, uh, you think this complex as a complex, as a campus, as a university campus, like university campus, this is the library uh, part. And until World War I, these places uh, used as a educational places. And then after 1980s, uh, changes into the library. Suleymaniye Library's collection is increasing on a daily basis. Right now, there are almost 100,000 manuscripts in here. The temperature, layout and design were all influenced by the Vatican's papal storage system. With free entry, visitors are also encouraged to enjoy the inner courtyard, a world away from the bustling heart of Sultan Ahmed. This madrasa has loads of original features, including this statue of the architect, Mimar Sinan. His design has remained pretty untouched. There's even still the original well. But now this area functions as a cafe, serving Turkish cuisine, and the classrooms around us are now traditional Turkish workshops. The madrasa had a number of repairs and was renovated by Turkish Cultural Service Foundation in 1987. Since 1989, it's been used as an art center. Today, traditional Turkish arts are taught here. 
It has 15 classrooms and a big study room. 18 different branches of traditional arts are taught here. For example, Tesip and Hut. Apart from them, we have classes of porcelain painting, ceramics, mosaics and jewellery. All three of these madrasas were built by Mima Sinan during a 10-year period. But while none of the buildings now function as a traditional madrasa, each still focuses on education in its own way, through teaching, books and craftsmanship. Miranda Atti, TRT World, Istanbul.